Well, hey there, folks. My name is Eric, and I have been doing video production for a very long time, about 25 years or so. And my latest toy in my arsenal of video equipment and experience is 360 cameras, namely the Insta360 ONE R. Now, I like to use action cameras for what they were intended for doing action sports, mainly things like skateboarding and BMX and well, if I get back into hang gliding, I'll probably be hooking it up to a hang glider too. But as a person who does all of this action sport type stuff, I really need good audio on the camera that is not going to be affected by wind noise. And unfortunately, when the Insta360 ONE R was first released, basically any version of firmware that was below 1.0.20 uh, had horrible, horrible audio. So this video is going to show you a comparison between the older firmware and the newer firmware. I'm also going to show you the difference between shooting a video with and without uh, tape over the microphone holes of the mounting bracket. When I talk about putting tape over the microphone holes, this is what I mean. So this is the mounting bracket, and there are two microphone holes. There's one right here on the side, and then there's also one on the top, which is located right between the power button and the record button. So that's what I'm referring to when I talk about the microphone holes. This was something that I was just trying to see if that could help cut down on that wind noise. Because I do action sports where things are moving pretty fast, there's really no way to avoid it, but you can try to mitigate it as much as possible. Okay, this is with uh, no tape over the microphones, and the wind noise reduction is turned off. Did you go faster? <laughs> Heck yeah, it does, huh?
Okay, this is another wind noise test. This is with the latest firmware, and this is with wind noise reduction turned on. As you could hear, the sound was pretty terrible on those. So here is what my camera looks like with the tape on the microphone holes. So there's the top one right there. I cut a little thin piece of packing tape and got it between the power button and the record button. And then there is also the one on the side as well, where I covered up the tape on the side microphone hole. I didn't want to put it on the camera, I just wanted to put it on the mounting bracket. So here you can see the bracket when the camera is removed and you can see how I just kind of cut a really thin strip and wrapped it around. You can see how it fits in between the buttons right there. And in case you're wondering, because I know people will ask, yes, the camera slips right back into the bracket with no problem. Uh, it's a very tight fit, but that little bit of tape really doesn't make a difference. And it's still very easy to get the camera in and out of the bracket, even with the tape in place. Okay, battery's running really low. Hopefully we can get this lap in. This is with wind noise reduction turned off. And we'll see what difference that makes. So hopefully we will... Thank you, it's not a GoPro though. <laughs> okay. Now it's a, called an Insta360. It does, it shoots 360 video. So I can shoot, I'm shooting in front of me and behind me all at the same time. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I'll get behind you so you can see me. <laughs> Okay, we are rolling with the new firmware. This supposedly will fix the sound issues with the wind. And uh, we have the noise reduction, the wind uh, noise reduction turned on right now. This is with 
noise with the wind reduction turned on and we will see what happens with this lap and uh, after that we'll shoot one with wind reduction turned off. The other thing that I want to show in this video is the difference between the uh, low light stabilization being turned on and off. And <laughs> that is hands down, you have to turn it on. If you're shooting at night and you're going to be shooting at a place like a BMX track or a skate park or any place where you have all these overhead lights on, you definitely need that stabilization turned on. Again, I will show you before and after, right, with it on and with it off, and you'll see the difference. And with it off, the video is unusable. With it on, it actually looks pretty good. Hey, Dwight. Is it just my imagination or does that look easy right there? Oh, it's because I'm looking through, through the mesh, probably. Yeah. Okay, Ryder. But that's how it does start. it. That's weird. Riders, ready? Watch the gate. <laughs> I think so. Okay, riders, random start. Riders, ready? Watch the gate. insulation up there anymore. <laughs> yeah, I got, well, everything is driving out tomorrow, so yeah. I'm like, well, shit, I might as well put this fucking sweatshirt up there, man. Yeah. 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 You want to race here? Yeah. Why not? Why is there a half-off? 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 I'll probably get a sweatshirt here in the next week. I don't know why you want me to. Okay, riders, random start. Yeah, practice. No count. Riders, ready, watch the game. <laughs>
Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that that was helpful and educational and now you have an idea of what you might like to do with your Insta360. Do you just want to use wind noise reduction? Do you want to maybe put a little bit of tape over the mounting bracket, microphone holes? You know, it's all up to you, but now you kind of see the results of what could happen if you configure the camera all these different ways.